The story of how a British seaweed scientist helped win World War II and save Western civilization. During World War II, the Enigma code was one of the most daunting weapons in the German arsenal. Cracking the code would be the key to intercepting crucial information and outmaneuvering the Nazi war machine. In fact, unraveling the secrets of the Enigma was so important that both England and the United States poured massive resources into building their own code-breaking operations. As the story goes, a man named Geoffrey Tandy was recruited by the UK Ministry of Defence to work at Bletchley Park as part of their growing team of cryptography experts. The only problem was, Geoffrey Tandy was a cryptogamist, which is the study of non-flowering, spore-reproducing plants like seaweeds, mosses, and ferns. So who was Geoffrey Tandy? Born in Chaddesley Corbett, a small village in Worcestershire, where his parents kept a pub, Tandy graduated from Oxford University in 1921, and pursued graduate studies at Birkbeck College, in the University of London. He was employed at the Natural History Museum in London, from 1926 to 1948, specializing in the biology of algae. He even appeared in Volume 2 of T.S. Eliot's Letters, who was Tandy's friend, with only the barest footnote, 1900 to 1965, botanist, worked at the Natural History Museum, London. He served throughout the war at Bletchley Park, in the naval section. In 1941, he was in charge of the research subsection, with responsibility for captured documents, and later he became head of technical intelligence, after which he worked for the British Foreign Office until 1954. It was no fluke that Tandy was recruited for Bletchley Park. In addition to his cryptogamist credentials, he was the assistant keeper of botany at the Natural History Museum of London. His work included managing the voluminous library, working with fragile documents, and a facility with multiple languages. Those linguistic skills, and organizational talents made him a perfect choice for Bletchley Park, since they were recruiting all sorts of experts. And this is where the so-called mistake, by the Ministry of Defense, may not have been a mistake after all. At Bletchley Park, Tandy's technical expertise allowed him to salvage waterlogged codebooks and a year or two after his mistaken hiring, as Tandy would joke, his expertise proved invaluable when a German U-boat was sunk and cryptographic documents relating to Enigma were recovered. You see, his experience preserving water-damaged materials and algae specimens helped salvage the waterlogged documents, so they could be used to crack the German code. Lieutenant Commander Tandy, codenamed Six, did his best to learn the skills for which he'd been mistakenly hired, but while he was no Alan Turing, he did still play a significant role in the breaking of the Enigma cipher and in turn, the defeat of the Nazi war machine. So, in the end, the science of algae helped the British cryptographers crack the Nazi Enigma, and win the war. The story of Geoffrey Tandy, is a lesson of not knowing where your help may come from, and perseverance. Today, Tandy's papers are held at the Natural History Museum. Now let's hope, that we learn the lessons of the past today, to help us defeat the darkness that may come tomorrow.